What's up guys, in this video we're going to be participating in this really cool event called Cruisin Oklahoma that we have here in Oklahoma. It's put together by an organization called Cruisin Oklahoma and basically I think it's once a month and they pick a like small town in Oklahoma, get a ton of people together and go cruise there and then afterwards we're going to cruise to Hallett which is the closest racetrack to me. It's like a full on racetrack and we get to drive on it for only $15. It's not like a full-fledged like uh, max effort race. There's going to be a pace car, but they uh, did say they're going to be spirited laps. So we're going to go ahead and head to the gas station because this car is completely out of gas. And then we're going to head to Perry, Oklahoma, which is about an hour away. And then uh, from Perry, Oklahoma, once we check the little town out, uh, we're going to leave there and head to Hallett Raceway, which is another hour away. And I'm just going to be videoing the whole process. There's a lot of cool stuff on throughout the day. There's some Formula Drifts demos, and there's going to be tons of cool cars there. So let's go ahead and head to the gas station and get on our way. All right, so all filled up with gas. I'm going to go pick up my girlfriend who's just a few minutes away, and she's going to help record throughout the day and uh, hopefully get some good video while I'm driving and everything. So we made it to Perry, Oklahoma. You can see there's a loud train going by right next to me. But I found this cool old Sinclair gas station here in Perry that I'm taking some pictures at. And uh, we're gonna go try to find a diner to get some breakfast at. But uh, so far it is a pretty cool little town. You can see there's the lineup of some cars over there. There uh, should be more but uh, that's all that's parked right here. And uh, we're not leaving Perry for over an hour, so everyone's probably not here yet. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and go drive around and look for somewhere to eat. Found this place right here called Charlie B's, and that's probably where uh, we are going to eat. service over here too in uh, City Square. It's a cool 3000 GT VR4 I believe. I'm pretty sure this is the guy who has this whole thing set up. <laughs> this cool old Ford. Okay, so we are about to leave Perry. Uh, everyone's getting in, it's 9.35. We're supposed to leave at 9.30, and there are the directions we're heading. Oh, and there's a police car. Looks like we have a police escort out of here. So we're gonna go ahead and hop in that and head down to Hallett. here at Hallett and they gave me the sticker they asked me if I wanted to go fast or slow and I said fast and they gave me the green group 7 sticker put it there so then uh, they just call over the intercom there uh, whenever it's time for group 7 to go and then that's when uh, we'll go I open the hood to let it uh, 
air out a little bit because the oil was getting pretty hot so might as well let it cool down so we're going to go around and look at some of the other cars and also see if we can see them on track because uh, so far i've seen quite a few um cool cars here and then they also have some formula drift cars that are here to do some exhibitions which will be really cool so i'm going to go ahead and get some video of that and uh see what all is here this is super cool I don't even recognize this. I'm not even sure what this is, but it has the Mustang tri-spoke wheels on it, which is pretty cool. I like OEM wheels on like uh, different cars. It's this super cool IS300, the 2J, and big turbo. This sounded really good. I really want one of these. This one is super nice. It's got the purple on the brakes. I like purple as an accent color. This one's really nice. I love this gray color and the VSKFs and the kit. All looks really good. Here are the two Formula Drift cars. They're going to be doing an exhibition sometime today. Uh, looks like there's another one right there at E36 that I'll try to get on a video later whenever they're driving on the track. also have uh, road race cars that they're going to be doing exhibitions with today and there's a really cool M4 that's uh, back here that they just started up. There's this really cool green Z on some CR Kais which makes any car look better and also that turquoise E36 and then here's the other two from earlier. So they just called group seven. So now we're going to head over to the paddock, which is I guess like the staging area where we all get in a line and then we'll go on track. the camera died after recording on track that whole time so I had to switch to my phone but uh, it was really fun I didn't really know what line to take and uh, we actually got to go faster than I thought they were gonna let us go okay 
that was a Corvette. Um, I'm gonna go out there and uh, video some of the cars that are going by. And then there's also gonna be a Formula Drift demonstration. They did uh, do circle the track once, but I think they'll uh, go back out in a little bit. But uh, these Continental Extreme Contact Sports are actually a uh, pretty good tire. Once they warm up, they get extremely grippy. My girlfriend just run, won um, one of the prizes they called out. I don't know what it is. Hopefully it's a free $300 track day or a shirt or sticker or something. So we're gonna go find out what she won. Okay, so back to where I was before we got interrupted by winning this hat right here. This <laughs> Kimono. We got two of them. I got one too. It's a Dishworks hat. Uh, so I guess that's pretty cool. It's free, so we'll take it. Um, open the hood to let the car cool down a bit because it was smelling like all kinds of hot stuff. Gonna let it air out and cool down a little bit. But uh, I mean, I pretty much covered most of the driving. If we go again, uh, she might try to get some video of me uh, going around the track. Overall, it was definitely worth $15. This day has been super fun and it's not over. I'm not sure if we're gonna get to drive again, uh, but they said if there's enough time that we would. And uh, there's also gonna be the race car demonstrations and uh, the Formula Drift demonstrations. So uh, I'll try to get some good video of that whenever that comes around. Just made it official, went and bought a cruising Oklahoma sticker, and then I also bought a sticker of Hallett. This is the layout of uh, Hallett. This is like north, and uh, they had those stickers down in the shop down there, and the cruising Oklahoma one was down in a booth, and I thought that was a good spot for it, and since I've driven my car on the track now, I thought it would be fun to put one of those stickers on there, and then I also I have those autocross stickers there. So I went ahead and got this cruise in Oklahoma sticker and put it on the other side just so it kind of matches. So it's kind of all the things that the car has been through and gone to or like documented on the car. It's actually uh, it the hood open to let some heat out because uh, it's starting to get hot from just sitting here idling because I want the air conditioning. So I also have a little bit of oil leakage it looks like from my catch can so that might be full. So. I kind of need to empty that, but it is burning hot right now, and this thing is loose. So I'm not going to take that out, because I would burn my hand, but uh, it probably needs to be done whenever I get home, because it seems to be something is leaking there. So I just got called for my second run. It has been a long time of waiting, so I am heading to the grid area for the last run on the track. Last time I had a Hellcat and a Viper in front of me, and I mean, they were going fairly fast. The Hellcat kind of got loose a few times, but uh, I guess we'll see how this run goes.
okay so that run the charger in front of me it wasn't going too slow but i did i wasn't really able to kind of let it out like i was last time the car got super hot again the oil temp got all the way up to 250 and uh the tires actually are holding up great uh i highly recommend continental extreme contact sports they are amazing tires are always uh you can see over here on the rear, they've got some uh, melted rubber on them, probably from the front, slinging back. And the car uh, with the thick rear sway bar, the rear end gets loose and it's like perfect around corners. But uh, you can see there's the new Hallett sticker. Whole new car now, but uh, I'm just going to let it cool down for a bit and then uh, going to head out of here. And during that last run, I used a quarter tank of fuel, but during the middle of the run, the fuel gauge went below empty and the gas light came on. So, uh, I don't know, I guess just the car being slung around and everything made it uh, think that the car was empty. But then as soon as I parked and it cooled down, the gauge like went back up like that. So I should have enough gas to get back to a gas station now. You can see there, max boost pressure, almost 24 PSI and then uh, 254 the oil temperature but it didn't pull much timing or anything the lt uh short or long-term fuel trims all look good so uh the car's holding up a lot better now no more check engine light i was having issues with it for a while but uh it is all good now held up to a full track day and with this run i got some gopro footage so you can see that charger in front of me uh started smoking uh really badly but uh this is cool i sure hope that's not for me i looked underneath didn't see anything leaking. There's a little bit of oil splatter there, but I don't know what it's from. But uh, it's cooled down enough to go ahead and drive it to the gas station. So we'll shut the hood. There's the cruising Oklahoma sticker. This was a super fun event. So if anyone who uh, put this thing on sees this, uh, it was they all did a great job. It was super fun, and for only fifteen dollars plus, like pretty much a full tank of gas and then I bought two stickers and it's a whole day full of fun and something you don't normally get to do and I really wanted to get this car out on track but I think that is pretty much it for this video this is probably going to be a long one just because there was a lot to film but uh, it was a super fun day and I'm definitely going to try to go on another one if I am able to but uh I think that's it please leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video